Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is December 30th, 2016. Today I am coming forward as the Lord has pressed upon my spirit to address the church, our watchmen, our maidservants, our saints. This is for you today. This is something that the Lord wants me to address openly. What we're going to talk about today are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to start off by a word that he keeps repeating in my mind before doing this, and that is the word of edification. Edification is described as the instruction or improvement of a person morally or intellectually through guidance. He wants us he wants me to remind us all as a whole because we are one body in Christ. Just as when a man and wife become one, we are one body in Christ. We need to start acting like it. We need to be one in him. We need to not entertain any kind of division to our oneness. Okay, so I'm going to start. Um, he wants to remind us all how we were chosen from the womb to usher in his arrival. In being chosen, we must not forget to remain humble throughout our mission throughout our walk. But most importantly, we must come together in unity. If you have been paying attention to your watchmen and maidservants, almost all of them have the same pattern of communication to the Lord. And that is He wants us united in togetherness. Just as the saints, one of the tra traits, excuse me, that we each should possess is that of discernment of the fruits, whether you're discerning your watchman, your maidservant, and even your brothers in Christ, brothers and sisters in Christ, your co-brethren. The Lord is displeased. He's anguished. As he sees some of his children are being led astray by talks of blasphemous gossip, envy, and scoffing. Be very mindful of the spirit you are adhering to. What are you entertaining? What are you lending your ears to? Be very mindful of that. If it smells of strife, of bitterness, and non-loving, it is not of him. Let no man deceive you, just as he tells us. Let no man deceive you. You know right from wrong. Please, use your discernment. Ask the Lord directly for more discernment. Go to him directly. I'm going to go over some scriptures he gave me to confirm that he wanted me to come forward. He has placed some of his watchmen and maidservants in leadership positions. I have received confirmation time and time again here in the last two weeks. He reminds me to stress the importance of forgiveness. If one forgives, then the act that caused a temporary confusion, because we all make mistakes, we are human, not superhuman, that particular subject in question should not be spoken of again, especially on the wall, openly. When we harp on a weakness that one may have, it disables us. We not only leave ourselves open to the enemy, 
but we deprive ourselves of our integrity. Our individual integrity and our calling, our walk with the Lord. Do not, I guess what he's wanting me to say is, do not put yourself in a position where you're entertaining these things. Excuse me, i got to adjust this because this is coming apart here. In other words, don't become cross-contaminated by other people's afflictions and anxieties or fears or things of that nature. As watchmen and maid servants, you should be fairly close to the Lord to be able to go to Him directly for everything, always, and ask for His discernment. We must be more attentive individually in how we're honoring him. In other words, before you put up a video because maybe somebody's done you wrong or there's been a disagreement, unless it's for the purpose of edification, we must refrain from doing this. And he tells me clearly in these verses, so I'm going to go over those now. This is the second time I've tried to record this without success. In Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through uh, 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance. What a beautiful word, forbearance, forgiveness, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We all have will. Against such things, there is no law. In the second confirmation he gave me, it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 6. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. When you say you've forgiven somebody, that should be the end of it. If your heart truly forgave that person, shouldn't even mention it anymore to honor your father. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Lastly, this is the confirmation he gave to me in real time. After I did my study, this has been in the works for the last three days. I've been on and off seeking instruction on how he wanted me to approach the church in a humble way where they would receive it as such. He gave me this verse in real time after I got on my knees in Anah. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 3-5, to five, if anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine with accords with godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words from which come envy, strife, reviling, evil suspicions, useless wranglings of men, of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain. From such, withdraw yourself. The Lord is telling us clearly here to withdraw. Do not entertain this kind of activity on the wall. As watchmen and maid servants, we have to set the example. Again, we are human. Sometimes we fall. But please, come together. He has told several of the watchmen and the co-maid uh, co servants that we are to come together in unity as a bride. We are not a hundred in Christ. We are one body in Christ. 
just as a man and woman, when they get married, they become one in the flesh. When you accepted your calling and you started coming to the wall, you became one in the body of Christ. Just as a reminder, let's please, let's refrain from putting up videos that clearly are not to edify the church. Do not put up videos that make other people look bad because you feel that you have to get even or your pride won't let it go. Let's just make sure that when the Lord returns, because no man knows the day or the hour, that he does not catch us not only sleeping or in drunkenness, but that he doesn't catch us playing these games. Let's honor our Father, guys. Let's come together. Let's come together. Use your best discernment when you're supportive of another watchman and another maidservant. We've got a lot of new watchmen and maidservants on the wall. They're not even being recognized. Let's try to humble ourselves and work together as one body in Christ. I love you guys. God bless you.